Hey friends, it's Jordan at the Music Zoo. You know what time it is? It's time for Fresh Drops. Let's go. All right, so advisory. Right now, if you hate Fender Relics, skip ahead like two or three minutes because there's some pretty cool relics I'm about to show off. Starting with this custom shop, Dual Mag Strat in super heavy relic, aged vintage white. Beautiful guitar, alder body, aging all around. Quarter sawn, double A grade flame maple neck. Rosewood fretboard, vintage clay dots. Until so the dual mag strat has dual magnets in it. Anoko fives from the E to the G, and then Anoko twos from the B to the E, so that everything rings out nice and smooth evenly across the board. You're not getting like an ice picky E string or anything like that, which I think is a really nice touch. Here's the aging, nice and close up on this one. Cool relic patterns. On to the next. Next up, also a dual mag two strat, but in aged seafoam green. Same specs as the other one, a lightly flamed neck. You can kind of see as you go in between the light. Nice aging over there. I like the tint down there, keeping the maple nice and vintage looking. There's the top. Nice and dark rosewood fretboard, still with the vintage clay dots. This is pretty sick over here. I like that you can still see a lot of the paint. And of course, a three-ply mint green guard. All right, another guitar with a really long name from Fender. This is a Poblano Stratocaster with a super faded aged surf green finish over an alder body. I like that the body kind of looks roasted, but it's not. Just like nice and super heavily relics. The one ply black guard is cool. Corazon maple neck. This one also has a little bit of flame to it. That's pretty cool. You can see it definitely right over there. Poblano Strat has super hot pickups. So if you want a guitar that's a little spankier than usual, get some spice. <laughs> All right, Relicators, welcome back, because now I have an NOS Strat for you. <laughs> this is a 69 Strat in NOS Olympic white, uh, kind of in the theme we've done before where you've seen these in Maui blue or Capri orange, but this one is in white. Roasted maple neck, got that big 69 headstock, F tuners, just like you'd see in 69, and 69 custom shop pickups. If this was me, I would put a blade in there, tune this thing to E flat, start playing cherub rock, Pete knows what I'm talking about. It'll be pretty cool. This is a sick guitar. I think someone should buy this pretty fast. All right, Relicators, once again, shield your eyes. I'm sorry, but I'm not really sorry because this is a pretty freaking slick Esquire. This is a custom shop, limited edition 50s Esquire over a pine body, quarter sawn maple neck. Got the uh, hand mount Esquire pickup in there and full throttle Esquire wiring. So one of these positions, you're going pickup straight out to the jack, no volume, no tone, just rocking. Really nice relic and all up in there. Like the headstock. And Pete just pointed this out. I really like the fretboard relicking. Super realistic how you could see like your fingers wearing away. Some just doing pentatonic runs for like a century. Pretty slick. That's all I could do. <laughs> That's all I could do too. It's, it's all fine. <laughs> nice relicking on the neck. The headstock is all chewed up. I like these little like pinprick dings all around the body. Maybe someone was wearing a watch or a bracelet. You can make the story up. That's kind of the fun part about relics. You can make your own story about it. All right, next over, we're switching up to modern times with a PRS S2 series, McCarty 594, and Ariza Verde. Did you know that you could get an American-made PRS for less than 2,000 bucks? You can, with this guitar. It's only 1749, including shipping. Beautiful guitar, mahogany body. Look at that back. Look at that back. That's a nice, dude, look at that. It's kind of got some ripple in there. I'm saying. I'm saying, click that link right now. We'll put the link in the description. This is a great one. All right, and the latest signature guitar from PRS, we're closing out today with the new Fiore model, this one in Black Iris. This is a signature guitar from Mark Latiri, a super versatile player who obviously designed his guitar to do everything he needs it to do. Single coil pickups, humbucker, push-pull, five-way switch, nice and smooth like satin oil finish maple neck, bolt-on construction, and I like this is a nice touch. Vintage style from the back, locking in the front. Look at that. Party in the front, party in the back. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, and last one up today, a very special guitar from Epiphone. Congratulations to them and Adam Jones for their newest collaboration. This is the Adam Jones Les Paul Custom Art Collection Silverburst with a veil of bees, a graphic on the back of the guitar from artist Mark Ryden. 
super cool new collaboration that Adam and Epiphone are doing where there's going to be a whole bunch of different guitars with different art on each one and there's only 800 of each. So this is the first in the run. Silver burst, mahogany body, maple top, three piece maple neck, 70s style volute, got some extra artwork there, and there's the top. Seymour Duncan Distortion, Epiphone Pro Bucker, Ebony Board. It's pretty lit. Tune it to Job D, you know what to do. All right, so that's it for today's Fresh Shops video. But did you know that if you go to themusiczoo.com and click on new arrivals, we do Fresh Shops every single day in my life. That's what we do. Anyway, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You could call us, make an appointment to our appointment-only showroom. We'll see you soon. Thanks.